Hey guys, how's it going? Now today is going to be a very exciting episode because after five long months, my mountain horn dragon eggs have finally hatched. Now this is my very first clutch for my mountain horn dragons and when I started out it was around April 17th I believe we had about 9 eggs that were first laid. Now four of them turned out to be infertile but out of the five fertile eggs that we had they have all hatched some beautiful healthy CB babies. So mountain horn dragon eggs usually hatch at around 200 to 225 days but mine were actually hatched out at around 150 to 160 so it was definitely an unexpected surprise on my end so we kind of had to move some stuff around get some stuff situated to make room for these babies. So right now I have these guys in an 8x8x12 8x8 exoterra. This is just a temporary enclosure for give them a few days you know to absorb the yolk. We are going to be moving them today in a 12x12x18. 12 12 now this is actually the Cuban tree frogs enclosure but we've moved him to another enclosure and cleaned out this this one to make room for these babies. Now just something to note before we get started, the morality rate of the CB mountain horn dragons from you know day one to about month five or six is actually pretty low unfortunately. So we just got to keep that in the back of our mind to make sure that we're not getting too excited. However, we're going to be doing everything in our power to be giving these guys the best life to make sure that they thrive. Now to be honest guys, this video is going to be pretty short. I'm just going to be moving some dragons from one enclosure to the next, but I just wanted to showcase these little dudes because they are so small and extremely adorable. So if that's your thing, make sure you stick around. Before we show those babies, let's take a look at the parents real quick. Now first we're going to be showing my male. Something I think is really interesting about mountain horn dragons is that the coloration they can change, almost like being fired up and fired down like uh, crusted geckos. So you can see in this picture here, he's super bright, has those oranges and yellows and almost reds, but then in the video he's just kind of plain and brown. And we have the same situation with the female. Now, I feel like these guys can go from like a gray to a light color. And then of course, as you can see in this picture, a deep red that I caught her in one day. I think it's just dependent on the mood and just, you know, how they're feeling that day. And then we can't forget our second female. Now, from the looks of it, she looks pretty gravid. So I may be expecting some more mountain horn dragon eggs in the upcoming weeks. So we'll just be moving these guys one by one. We'll be starting off with the last hatched baby. This guy is only two days old, and I mean, just look at him. So cute. You can see he was a little feisty coming out. You know, some of these guys were e real easy to pick up, and then the other ones were right out of the egg, just fresh as can be. And here we have baby number two, just resting on some of this Mopani wood that we'll actually be putting into the cage. So we got two birds with one stone on this one. Now baby number three resting on this cork bark. We're gonna be putting that in as well. Just really getting this enclosure up with a lot of climbing areas for them, for them being, you know, an arboreal lizard. Then we just got two more babies to go. We have this beautiful little one, which is actually one of the more green ones out of all of them. Usually they're more of a brown reddish color, which I just think it's kind of strange that we hatched out a green one because both of the parents are like an orange red and then a deep red. And then finally we have our last baby that we're putting in here. I mean, just look at these guys. They are so adorable. Really the cutest babies that I've hatched out to this date. Putting that fifth baby in there, that is going to wrap up this video. Like I said guys, it is pretty short, but you gotta admit, these babies are really cute. Now if you like the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of my animals or breeding products, you can always follow me at Instagram at DBCBExotics. And other than that guys, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.